yeah, very pleased. I thought, uh, thought the guys worked really hard. I thought, you know, it's hard to fault one of the 17 players uh, in the way they went about the game and the conditions and the way that, you know, they still tried to to play some really good footy. There was some good width on uh, on a lot of plays from both sides. So I thought, uh, I think we went 95% or something in the first half. That's a, that's a, uh, that's a, in those conditions, that's great. It's really happy. No, I think the litmus test was the Cronulla South one last year, and I think if that went ahead, I'm not sure whether they would again, but I think anything will go ahead. So um, I, was, I was actually really impressed with the field. I thought uh, the field held up well, or whatever they did, it was in good condition to play, which usually I think when you play the ball, Obviously, Nug had a lot of work to do behind the ruck that it still rolled pretty well. So, um, you know, it's a, they've copped a bit in the last day, I think, groundsmen. So, I think uh, a pat on the back to the SFS uh, groundsmen. What was it like out there, Jake? Because it was really willing early on. You've never seen good footy, but there was friends and family. Yeah, no, nah, um, yeah, like Trent said, the, the track was actually surprisingly good. And um, there was a few little soggy patches, but majority of the field was um, well, pretty fast so I think um, yeah, we set the game up pretty well and um, yeah, we talked coming into the game about wet weather footy, we all loved playing wet weather footy when we were kids and um, I think that sort of come through, the boys were excited to play and, and we talked about playing a tough tough game and a, and a field position game and um, we got that on from the start so Yeah, I thought I thought Jared um, decided that he was going to go out there and target a few guys, and and he did. Uh, and he just uh, he carried. I think he often carried one of the first plays, and then and then the last play to set up our kick a lot of the time. Um, and yeah, some and, and they also, you know, it, it cost us a couple of penalties, but they also were quite physical in their defence. They decided to to bring some emotion at, at a couple of different occasions there to to be physical. Um, you know, and even these guys around them, they, they were getting off the line to try and put some pressure on the ball carriers at different times. So, uh, yeah, they were, they were very good, the front rowers. How do you believe the context of Trent? Well, I think that got us a couple of weeks ago, to be honest. Um, we knew there were big games against Gold Coast and Canterbury and we focused on something that was months away because we knew it was about time and we didn't deliver on those days. So we just focused on playing well against the Tigers. That's all we focused on and that's what we did. I don't know. that He just went to get scans. So Isaac Liu and, and, and Latrell both ankle uh, injuries. So, uh, yeah, short term doesn't look good. I just hope it's... Hope it's okay. I don't know. When I was in, when we were in the change rooms, they were uh, at the scanning place getting it done. So uh, I hope not, but uh, it's pretty common these days. Yeah, Connor Watson. Um, people might, would probably know him as a five eight, but played a lot of fullback coming through uh, the grades out of Central Coast and and even. A bit of rugby union there, but he's uh, yeah he, he one of his preferred positions is fullback. So he added a bit of spark as he always does in whichever position he plays. I was pretty close in the game, uh, but because uh, more because Orbo was at centre, I probably wasn't thinking about putting Connor on the wing or at centres. Um, so, you know, there's a, there's a couple of decisions to make this week. I would say I, I doubt the trail will be in. What did you think of Jackson today? He was great. You know, it's been, um, you know, obviously thought Mitchell was going to play and he got called in uh, as soon as that happened in training on uh, Wednesday. Uh, and I thought between Jake, uh, Ryan Madison and, and, and Jacko, they were, they were really good. You know, it becomes... A, a lot of pressure gets put back on decision makers in these conditions. Because it doesn't matter what happens, however else they play, they have to kick well. You have to kick well on these days. Uh, and that's, 
the boys did a really good job. What does he have to do to give himself back to the frame this time? Play like he did today. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard as a coach. I dropped him, and then I also put him back in. So um, that's the bit as a coach. You don't. You're not always the good news guy. You, you have to give him bad news, and and that hurt obviously um, but for a couple of weeks. But when Junior got injured, you know, it was on in the middle of a set in training, and we just put Jacko straight there. So that's that's the thing uh, with coaching. You can still support a guy with if even though you drop him, and that's. And then we got a performance like tonight, so you know it's been it hasn't been the easiest couple of weeks, but um, it's, we're paid to do this. This is our job, and, and we've got to make sure we go out there and, and coach or perform well, no matter the circumstances. And, and Jacko is a credit to him the way he did that today. Oh, Mitch is Mitch is our halfback, so if he's if he's right to go, I, I'm not sure. It's a calf. It's not. It's not a. Uh, a long injury, um, but we've got to make. It'll be touch and go. It'll be ten days. So the calves are 